It's the third most controversial topic in society right behind politics and religion. It's cats versus dogs versus your money. Today on the Scott Allen Turner Show, broadcasting from Studio X in the great country of Texas, I'm Scott Allen Turner on a mad mission to help you get financial independence, ultimate happiness, and a life full of awesome experiences. Got a question like answered on the show? Drop us an email, scott at scottallenturner.com. One of the things to never discuss Thanksgiving and Christmas pets, they've moved up from number four to number three, the third most controversial subject, used to be is NFL quarterback Tom Brady the greatest of all time. Thankfully, that's been put to rest. Tom, a.k.a. Father Time, thank you. And in your face, Peyton Manning. Taylor wrote into the Scott Allen Turner show. He said, our newest challenge is our dog. He has a heart disease. He is 12 years old and we have had him since he was a puppy. The doctor told us he's about six to 18 months left to live. Could be more, could be less. He's on a new medicine that is somewhat costly, but we've noticed it helps him breathe more comfortably and he's back to acting his normal self with minimal side effects. We would do anything for him, even if it means going into more debt to keep him around longer. Are we doing the right thing? Taylor asks. He isn't suffering on his new medicine. Regardless of your opinion, I appreciate your input during this difficult time. I get a lot of pet-related questions on the show, and you know I am a friend to the animals. People who have a pet are going to run into a difficult financial decision at some point. I owned a Himalayan cat when I was single. That's where the Himalayan cat commercial comes from for the my longtime listeners. Rooster was my cat's name. Himalayan cats have long hair. They need to be taken to the groomer once in a while, just like long-haired dogs do in the summertime. Well, cats hate this. Rooster, he had bad kidneys, and the stress of going to the groomer for a haircut sent his little body into a downward spiral. He was at the pet hospital. Total mess. They had Rooster in the, the barometric chamber to help him breathe, and I had no care how much this thing was going to cost to save him. We ended up spending thousands of dollars to try, but it was not meant to be. Third time in my life when I cried in front of my wife, when my dad died as number one, when my cat died as number two, and during a mental breakdown in 2009, when Tom Brady was robbed of yet another Super Bowl ring by the New York Giants in the final minutes of the Super Bowl. He's the GOAT, people. The GOAT. I don't have all the answers, just the right ones. On this issue, sometimes we're just picking from a list of bad choices. It's kind of like you're driving 20 hours on vacation, 8 p.m. at night. There's nothing on the highway. Everyone is tired and hangry. Should a person pull over and get the gas station hot dog that's been spinning around for the past six weeks, hoping to be saved from one more spin, or eat a bag of Doritos and a Snickers bar for dinner? It's hard. We have the bionic dog. He got two knee surgeries just after we got him. Helped with his home mobility. When he starts running into walls, I'll get him some glasses so he can see a little bit better. Last year, we had the $500 cat EKG for our cat stalker. You're all very smart listeners. You can figure out where the line is for your money, but it's hard sometimes. For some people, the situation is choosing to keep the lights on, making the car payment, feeding the kids. Situation's still hard. There are some options there. Start by contacting a food pantry. Oftentimes, they have pet food, too. If your situation is temporary, maybe you can get a friend or a family member to keep the pet until things look up. If there's a health situation, weighing the quality of life is certainly a consideration. If a person or a pet is suffering, the experts say, eh, there's a little chance of recovery here. But for me, um, I'm letting go. I made that choice with Rooster. Katie had to make that choice with her cat Gus at one time. We had to make that choice with my father-in-law at one time, and it's hard. Nobody has successfully argued for or against 
pets in heaven. I like to believe they go to a better place when the time comes. I'm not sure whose job it is to clean up the litter box or pick up the, the doodog on the grass. Maybe the robots do that stuff like in the Matrix. I don't make any moral judgments on people who take on more debt, delay other goals, or use their emergency fund for their pets. I've listened to some of the other financial Pied Pipers before. Call, You're stupid for doing that. And then they turn around and say, I love dogs. I'm looking at these people like, it's funny because they're trying to play both sides of the coin. And you can see through that nonsense. As you work towards your financial goals, you have to have savings for these emergencies. That's why I want you to have an emergency fund for the emergency trip to the vet. You have to be able to feed your family and keep the lights on. That's why I want you to be aware of sources out there like the food pantries for free pet food. You have to be able to pay the car loan and get to work. That's why I want people in that situation to consider having someone else help out, a family member, a friend you might know. Never regret the decision you make with your pets. You make the right decision at the right time based on your situation and find a peace in it. That's the best you can hope for. I believe we can always make more money. We can always sell stuff. We can always find alternatives. But we don't get time back. We don't get opportunities back. We don't get people back. We don't get pets back. Bottom line is spending a lot of money on pets has to be a serious conversation. So you weigh your options and you make the best choice you can. Ask your pet owning friends today if they have a pet clause in their will. See who does. Who's taking care of the critters if you get abducted by aliens? See what kind of response you get them. There's a water cooler conversation for you. Had a fantastic time in Napa. Here's a funny pet store. We're at the airport last night getting on our plane. I like getting on last. This is my thing. I spend less time sitting in an airplane. A lady was there with a small, itty-bitty puppy, and she was having difficulty getting on to the plane with the dog. I don't know if she didn't have the right tickets or something got messed up. She's checking in with the lady helping out with the tickets, and the lady turns to her, Do you have a dog? Well, yes, I do, ma'am, because it looks like a dog. I wanted her to say, No, ma'am, I have a giraffe here. <laughs> this tiny little puppy. It was obviously a dog. It wasn't a ferret. It wasn't a cat. It was, it was interesting. Some... Times the questions people get asked that are just common sense. Yes. It, oh, and then someone, there we go. Someone is, I did turn my phone off, but somehow the play music started going on. So we got a, a little bonus music right there as we're coming up on our break. If you got a question like answered on the show, visit goaskscott.com. Leave a message on the money line or drop us an email. Scott at scottallenturner.com. Glad to be back with you. More of your questions after the break. 